Do we actually need to carry out a tightness test when we're doing a landlord's report? So, let's get on with it and find out if we actually do or not. Now, information about tightness testing is on your CP12s. So surely you have to do a tightness test on a landlord's report, don't you? So let's have a look at the standards and see when they say we are required to carry out a tightness test. On completion of new pipework installations. After alterations to replace of or reuse of existing installations. New extensions to existing pipework. Prior to any work on existing pipework. Where there is known to be a suspected gas leak in installations. Where there has been a complete loss of pressure for any reason. So after going through that list we can see it doesn't say carry out a tightness test during a landlord's gas safety check. So let's have a look at regulation 26.9 of the gas safety installation and use regulations 1998 amended 2018 and see if that tells us to carry out a tightness test when we're doing a landlord's report. Paragraph 9 where a person performs work on a gas appliance he shall immediately therefore after examine a the effectiveness of any flu b the supply of combustion air c subject to subparagraph c a its operating pressure or heat import or when necessary both c a if this is not reasonably practicable to examine its operating pressure or heat input or where necessary both its combustion performance and d its operation so as to ensure it's safe functioning. So we're not doing uh, too well so far are we? We can't find out whether it says we need to do a tightness test in a landlord's report or not. So let's actually go to regulation 36 in the gas installation and use regulations 1998 which is the responsibilities for a landlord and see if that actually tells us we need to do a tightness test on a landlord's report. 